Hello, welcome. I'm Yaguna and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making apple bread. With the apple bread, it's heavy. This is a heavy bread. It's very moist. It's good. Okay, let's get ready. Let's go. I want you to know that you can use all-purpose flour on this recipe, but for those who have gluten allergies or celiac disease, I'm actually today using this red, let's see, red mill and it's one-to-one -one baking powder and it has everything included no i'm not being sponsored by them it's just i got excited when i found this um, we have a beloved family member who has a gluten allergy so i'm going to be using the one-to-one -one flour but if you want to use regular flour go ahead it's the same same measurements and everything okay it's only two cups of flour and as you see i have a strainer which i'm using as a sifter one two next we're gonna add so you can use real sugar or you can use the splenda and that is a cup and a half next two teaspoons of baking soda one tablespoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of salt now we're going to sift this all right we have sifted our dry ingredients and put them through again this is not needed actually it's not part of the um, recipe instructions but i like to sift and make sure there's no lumps next we're going to add our three eggs next we're going to add three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil one and a half capfuls of vanilla we're also going to add one and a half cups of walnuts or if you live somewhere where pecans are readily available you can use pecans or pecans or however you say it wherever you live and then after that we will begin on the apples we're going to grate some apples and we're going to chop some apples let's stir this together first we have mixed our dry and wet ingredients together next what i'm going to do what i'm going to start off with is i have three apples three medium apples and two of them i'm going to shred into the bread mixture so this turned into two cups of shredded apple and i have one more apple here that i'm going to chop up into little pieces so that there's bits of apple chopped up into it besides the shredded apple so it'll go throughout the whole bread and believe me it takes a little bit extra work but it is so yummy and it's so worth it all right our apple is chopped up so i'm going to add that and that's about a cup of apple chopped up apple i'm going to add it and this recipe at first, I'm like, I'm looking at it and I'm gonna try mixing it. It feels a little dry. I added the three eggs. I added the three quarters of a cup of oil. Um, it should be wet enough, but for some reason it felt a little dry. I'm going to try mixing it. And if it needs a little something, I will have to check to see if I can add a little more oil or possibly some applesauce so let me stir it up and mix it in because the apple does have you know the apples are wet so that'll add to it so let me see as i began stirring it and getting the app the shredded apple in there it started getting a little wetter and now it's really easy to move so if you, no matter what kind of flour you're using at first it's going to feel really dry but once you add your apple or if you use this recipe for zucchini again this is a really good zucchini bread um, it'll become more moist and easier to manage so good thing i waited and trusted the process right that looks that looks better there you go oh my gosh doesn't that look good I think this actually might make two loaves of bread. I'm gonna try putting some in the bigger loaf pan. By the way, I've greased 
this loaf pan. You can also line it with parchment paper if you like, but I just greased it. It smells so yummy, so apple-y. I don't know if that's a true word or not. If it isn't, please forgive me. But, oh, the apple smell is divine. I love it. I have my oven preheating to 350. So while I get this into the pan, and we're gonna bake it for 45 minutes to an hour. When you're making bread, keep an eye on it. There you go, isn't that looking yummy? Oh my gosh, I wish I could get Smell-O-Vision, you know, from Willy Wonka to you, because it smells so good, and it is so dense. It is such a dense bread, it's yummy. Okay, while we're waiting for the oven to get to heat, I wanted to show you my sweatshirt. I don't know if you can see, but Gosh, if, if, if you're somebody like me that's prone to small accidents and making messes, I highly, highly suggest don't wear black to cooking or baking because I don't know if you can see, but it ends up like this. I look like the Swedish chef. It's like, burn the bing, burn the burn. All right, folks, our oven is ready. It is up to temperature. So we are going to stick the bread in. See you later, bread. We're gonna set it for 45 minutes to start. After 45 minutes, we'll check it to see if it's ready. And if it's ready, we'll take it out. If not, we'll leave it in for a little longer. So our timer went off. I'm going to check the bread. Let's get this out. Looks good so far. Ooh, sorry, got foggy a minute. Close that in case it has to go back in. Stick a knife into it. Ooh, it's done. So 45 minutes. We'll turn this off. And we'll let it cool down now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you try this recipe. This bread is so good. I can't try it quite yet because it's hot. Um, but believe me, it truly is yummy. I hope you try it and enjoy. Um, happy fall, y'all. <laughs> Love you. Have a wonderful day today. And thank you as always thank you for your kindness for your support for watching just for your existence have a beautiful day love you bye